We're here with Chef Derek Blackburn from Food Lovers Catering, and we're going to be making some tacos. Yes, sir. Love and it. You're going to be making salsa first. I can oh. do it. And what we have over I here. Think. So this is the finished product. Right. Uh, it's a toasted pumpkin seed and jalapeno salsa. Right. So I wow. took the liberty, toasted your pumpkin seeds for you. There's some fresh jalapeno. Okay. You're going to put it in your roboku. Squeeze all those nice limes right there and about a teaspoon of sea salt. Okay. And you want it, like you see, you want it nice and chunky, so just pulse it. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Me in the uh, kitchen, this times. is actually funny. Pulse it. Uh, it times. is. Okay. Well, you got to pulse it four Okay, times. and a little bit of this? A yes, teaspoon. Sir. A teaspoon. Teaspoon. How do you do that? <laughs> Just okay. a pinch. Like that? That's yes, a sir. teaspoon? Okay. No. No, that was about half a teaspoon. Okay, oh. sorry. And You're pulse. Good. So, and, and we don't have power. And pulse. Oh. <laughs> gotta plug that in. <laughs> but it, but it, That's but always it. important. Uh, we got it now. No, it's not going. There That's go. all right. We'll pretend. <laughs> yes? Oh, okay. there you go. Oh, it's great. <laughs> That's, working. That's, working. That's a great and, way to do it. Oh, my Chef goodness. Actually had, she had a request <laughs> about learning did. how to properly cut butternut squash. Yes. Yeah, how so do we do that? I find I this very intimidating. This can be a very daunting task for people because it's really hard. Right. The skin's very difficult to get yeah. through. And it rolls. So we'll do two different ways. One way is just, obviously, just to cut oh. into it. So you slice off it the end. doesn't look so hard to you. Well, I've done this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so one way is you just cut it off. I'm only doing this in sections. So sections make it easier? Well, yes and no. Um, so after you do it in sections, you can either use your potato peeler if you want to. I really love these peelers. You get these oh. a pack of five of them from like the Dollar General, and they are the oh, best really? peelers. Oh, really? Yeah, look, it just peels Oh, my goodness. Right off. I've never used one. So if you guys want to try peeling, okay, and you can see how okay. easy it is. You They're do very that? sharp. <laughs> watch, watch your knuckles. I will pass oh, that watch on. Your oh my gosh! Um, I go the other someone's direction. Gonna be the way that we prefer to do it in the restaurants, just for ease of service, oh, is we actually just use our knife. So right. we just cut down the side. The right. And you just go down in a circle, and it makes a really beautiful hexagon. Oh yeah. But um. Now I'm still leaving a fair amount of this white edge on. Keep is that going. okay, or do I need do to peel more. deeper? Peel deeper. You want it okay. nice and orange, like a beautiful. I think orange I'd flesh. go for that version rather than this version. And so you can see, it leaves you with something very wow. easy and very oh, yeah. difficult to work. Yeah. It's a block of food. Mm -hmm. Yours is better. It is. It's, chefs love butternut squash. Oh really? You can get beautiful knife cuts with it. It smells really good. So this is just out of the oven right here that you bake. Yes. Yeah, right? So once you do that, you cut it into squares. Yes, ma'am. So after you do that, it's called planking. So then what you do, you plank One. it. Oh, that Two. looks easy. Yeah. And you're just cutting up planks. And then after you cut your planks out, move your planks forward, and then all you're doing is cutting squares. All right, so Linda, we got your squares. Thank for you. you. And yes. how long does it roast for in the oven? 20 minutes at 425. And then I actually have kind of a favorite thing that I do is take it out of the oven. I put it in a container and put, let the steam finish cooking it, and that's why Ooh. it gets all nice and glazy oh. like that. Yeah, that's it really great. coats in and gives it like that beautiful sheen. Okay, well, let's do some assembly then. Let's okay. do it. So, Linda, we'll yes. start with the tortillas. Oh, there they are. Ah, beautiful okay. corn tortilla. Tortilla. Right. So and you're I'm just going, going to, to do a dollop of your salsa. A dollop? That's that I little, just made. It's a little hard to spread. Um, so just put it on there and just kind of smash it down with your spoon. Is that a dollop? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then so this. Polite. Some of your butternut okay. squash. Yes. Butternut squash. Okay. And then a little bit. This is some homemade Mexican crema. Very similar to cream fresh. It's just you use uh, Mexican cream. Mexican okay. Cream. Mexican cream. Yes, okay, now some of this. Yes, ma'am. Some lime Jeffrey, zest. Jeffrey, you put that on. Yeah, cause lime zest because you need a little flair like that. <laughs> and you Whoa, like that. Bang, right? Okay. Just like that. Now eat and it. There nice. you go. And that's it. And that's it. how you make the taco. And so <laughs> but it's I'm a lot of Or give it to meat. Jeffrey and but make another course. one. <laughs> but similar, similar to when we made the tamales, I mm. always find Mexican food just so like convivial. It brings everyone together. Everyone has a chance to make something that or have a good, hand Jeffrey. in it. Is it? No, and I think that's great because once you get everything assembled, too, people can choose what they want to put in it and yes, what they don't. Yes, exactly. And you can go crazy with this stuff. But yeah. I find that restraint often is better mm. with tacos. And well, having, and I think it's a great idea for entertaining. Oh, yeah, and having busy too. hands in the kitchen is yes, always see, great, like too. Everyone's already got something to do. I know. Look, I made my own. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, very good. I would have never thought that I would want a butternut squash taco, but I do. It's savory, because they're right? amazing. It's yeah, very satisfying. No, very satisfying. Mm. Wonderful flavors. Derek, you never hesitate to amaze mm. us with your creativity. Nope. Hey, some of the best creativeness you'll ever meet mm -hmm. in terms of culinary <laughs> skills. Food Lovers <laughs> Catering, how you can learn more about what Chef Derek is up to. Jeffrey, I know I caught you with your mouth full. Mm -hmm. Thanks mm -hmm. for joining us. Good. I like it. It's Enjoy oh, right. the cutter. Thank you very I'm much. I I that. We're I'm always learning a lot. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to take some time mm. and enjoy the sun coast view. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Delicious. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I made it. <laughs> and I helped. Yeah, this is very good. I had this time. I'm making it for my wife. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. That is really good. Mm -hmm.